Millions of football fans watched in shock and sadness when Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin collapsed on the football field during a Monday night football game between the Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals. Quick and decisive action by the team's medical staff, which included CPR and the use of an automated external defibrillator, or AED, is being largely credited with him being brought back from cardiac arrest and his eventual recovery. That incident, while one of the most high profile, is not terribly uncommon in sports, which is why Las Vegas Fire and Rescue has been partnering with AMR Ambulance Service to make sure AEDs are located in several City of Las Vegas parks. This program actually began in 2017. It started with Kellogg's Air Park. Um, after a, a specific incident happened there and we were able to obtain some AEDs and we had AEDs in place at that city park for a number of years. Uh, in 2022, we were able to reformat and make use of some devices we had and we actually expanded to three additional parks in 2022. Aside from Kellogg's Air Sports Complex, you will find AEDs at Betty Wilson Soccer Complex, Doc Romeo and Majestic Parks. Initially it was only at Kellogg's Air, we had a number there. Um, we expanded to three more additional parks. They're all within the city of Las Vegas. We did it very intentionally because they're all sports parks. They're in different parts of town. They're used heavily and they see a lot of citizens who come to do some sort of physical activity. Mm -hmm. And so this is where they should be. So we want people to understand that once you turn it on, you need to listen to the AED. It tells you exactly what to do. Las Vegas Fire and Rescue wants to take the intimidation out of using these life-saving devices. So here at Majestic Park, a demonstration was recently held. Las Vegas Fire and Rescue's Melanie Denon. Remove all clothing from patient's chest. Each sticker has a picture of where the AED goes on Pull the adult or the child. To reveal pads. Look at pictures on pads. Apply pads to bare skin exactly as shown in the pictures. You don't have to determine if the patient needs a shock. The machine determines that for you. If it says shock advised, you want to make sure nobody is touching the person, nobody touching them. Adult Press mode. the shock button. Remove all I'm going to pretend I'm shocking. Chest. And then listen to your AED. It'll say resume CPR. Performing CPR before and after the AED arrives is of vital importance. A cardiac arrest is the heart has stopped pumping. By providing compressions when someone is down, you are continuing to circulate that blood through the heart and through the brain specifically. So you're buying that individual time, time until other interventions can come. Buying time and keeping circulation flowing, which significantly increases a person's physical and neurological recovery. Absolutely, it does, because as I said, it keeps that blood and that oxygen flowing to the brain. Even if the heart can begin pumping again after a number of minutes, if the brain hasn't had enough oxygen, that patient may be neurologically impaired forever after that. While DeMar Hamlin has youth and incredible strength on his side, it was the medical team by his side providing immediate treatment on the field that enabled the University of Cincinnati hospital staff to continue his treatment and inform him when he awoke from his coma, he had just won the game of life. Nancy Byrne here. I hope you enjoyed that story. For more great stories about the city of Las Vegas, don't forget to click on that box.